we going? One in the F1. Just watch our daughter play in a band. Okay, questions. David Rosser, IDEX ovulation is five, correct. What is it on the fine care? Seven. Uh, Trinidad, the majority of readers say that they are puppies, carries Isabella, and testable chocolates. And what not when they haven't even DNA tested their parents? Yeah, well, I mean, you know, people who make the statement carries Isabella and testable chocolate, that Isabella has to have testable chocolate. I mean, I hate it when people use the word Isabella in a carrier sense. Just give us the real DNA. That way we know that you know what you're talking about. So I agree with you. There are a lot of people out there who uh, unfortunately don't know what they've got and saying something that's not right. And that gets to be a problem because you buy a dog thinking it's got testable chocolate, then you test and it doesn't. Well, you're because just... you're going to pay a higher amount of money and yeah. then when you find out yeah. different, you're upset and yeah. I don't blame you. No, absolutely. You bet. We'd be upset. No, you've everybody, got... Everybody, every breeder, everybody needs to do DNA on your dog. Unless you're selling adults, this... Yeah, unless you're selling puppies. It's, adult it's, studs, your adult females, your puppies, do it. Yeah, unless you sell them as pet only, then it probably doesn't matter. But yeah, because they're just looking at color on the outside. But Tammy's right, generally, more information is better. The problem is it costs money, that's the problem. <laughs> uh, John Manzel, do all dogs carry black? No. The Color My Frenchie app makes black dogs if there aren't two copies or something else. So in Color My Frenchie or in the Bakir Code Color uh, Code Color app, in both of those, you've got to put something in every hole. If you leave it blank, it's going to it's going to come up with rubbish. So in particular, if you've got a dog that doesn't have brindle, you need to put in K N K N. If you've got a dog that carries one copy of brindle, then put in K N K B. But the point here is you've got to put something in every hole. If you don't put something in a hole, it's going to give you a mix of what those possibilities could be, and you're going to get some strange results. Okay, so we've got some French person who says, Common il sont beau. So now I'm going to do my lousy attempt of at at translation. Um, I think it means that uh, he is beautiful, I think is what we're taught, saying there. So I hope that's what it means. Uh, okay, Zoe D uh, talking about uh, removing dew claws, saying this is cruelty to those puppies. So you haven't even looked at the video because you didn't even see what the, you didn't even see what the puppies did afterwards. They didn't even make a noise. Uh, unnecessary, unclean, and completely only, ghetto. Yeah. Uh, the only noise that they make is because they're being held down. Yes. Yes. Let me tell you, it's a lot. And he says it is painful for the dog, and the dog might not be screaming, but it's in pain. What are you talking about? Dog, if a dog, a if a dog is in pain, it's going to scream, it folks. It hasn't even developed into a bone yet. Yes, uh, you just you're missing the point, folks. Yeah. I mean, that's it. But anyway, you see their own. Somebody belly aching. Yeah, yeah. Right, I guess my. Right, my. So. Um. All right. Comments back to where we were. Uh, Someone's saying congratulations on your grandbaby. Yeah, yes, great thank you. Grandbaby. Great grandbaby, yes. We yes, are great old reason. people and we have a great grandbaby. <laughs> two week old puppies, this is Monique Henderson. Two week old puppies with oily poop. They look like they we covered them in cooking oil. We ended up bathing at least two of them two times a day to keep them clean and not oily. Hmm. Well, I don't know what that is, never seen that one before. I mean it's fine to you know clean puppies up. You know they're gonna get poop on them, and uh, you know you can you can do a quick cleanup with nothing more than one of those uh, things, wipes, those wi baby yeah, wipes, baby wipes. Just yeah. use baby wipes if you want. Yeah. But sometimes they get so crusted up, it's time for a bath. Are yeah. they talking about fluffies, or are they talking no. about the short hair? No, just short hair. It's got oily poop. So oily I'm not seeing oily poop. Then what's that? It probably comes down to Mama what she's eating. Yeah. And maybe you know. Change yeah. your food may keep it from being so. Try boring. that. Yeah, you can try that, yeah. yeah. Um, one thing if you aren't gonna bathe puppies, be very careful. Yes. Right, make sure they get dried properly. Yes. Get a hairdryer out there and dry them off not too close because these puppies will get cold. You think you just you, you drop you, be careful. Nothing wrong with cleaning shampoo puppies, but just make sure you've got them dry. Make sure they're in a covered pen area. Mama, so they can get 
Obviously, Kennel French is first litter coming up for me. Uh, any advice? Only two puppies confirmed on day 37 today. Well, go look at, uh, we've got a whole series called uh, Bo Peep's Journey. And I think there's about eight or nine videos in there that right from the point we AI'd her, through the pregnancy, through the, through the whelp, weaning puppies, the whole gamut's there of about a couple hours worth of videos yeah. together. So look at that. Yeah. So I'm a Pembroke Welsh Corgi breeder. Had my first pyometra case a few years ago. Thought my girl who had been bred was having morning sickness at about four week mark, but noticed she seemed way off. Uh, bottom temperature outside, so close pyometria. Uh, uh, yeah. Well, I mean, they went through the same thing we went through, so, yeah. so uh, yeah. Um, now you can get dogs, a closed pyometria where the, the muck in the uterus doesn't come out can be, you know, life-threatening and, and quite yeah, likely it's going to end lose, up. Lose the dog yeah, the yeah. I mean, if you look at Kiki, you know, she went from being very sick to the next day well, being right for rape. No, we had until she started running no, the right. temperature. It, exactly. Because it was closed. That's right, exactly. We exactly. thought she was pregnant because she looked yeah. big, but it was her body trying yeah. to protect her. Yes, exactly. Blowed up there like exactly. she was pregnant. Yeah. Jenna Farmer. Correct. Uh, question about tan points. If a litter of pups is born and there is a black and tan puppy and the siblings are other colors, what are the chances of the other puppies carrying tan points? Well, I mean, you know. I don't know the circumstances in your breeding to know what the two parents have. You could certainly be in a situation where you've only got one puppy with 10 points. If you had Brindle present, the other puppies wouldn't show it. If you've got, you know, if you've got an AT dog bred to um, an A dog, then you'd only get uh, half the litter having 10 points. So the answer is you've got to test to find out. I mean, typically if you've got 10 points, you'll see them. You may not see them for the first week very much, but you'll get an idea there's 10 points present by, by two week mark, right? Yeah, two or three weeks. Candace Russ, we love Romeo, what an amazing color. Well, you should come and get him. He's a gorgeous little, little boy. He's such, a, he's such a pretty dog. He's, he's got so special. He's got a great structure and he's got everything. He's got blue, he's got Tesla he's Trump, little. he's got he's gonna cocoa. Be a little stud. If he's got a stud dog. He's exactly what I'd be looking for. He's got Fluffy. He has got literally everything to make a new shade Fluffy dog. That a new shade, your hero too. Yeah, a new shade hero of Europe. That's really and unusual. And well, not one of them out there that I know of. Well, the daddy. Well, he wanted. Well, well he that's wanted right. A new shade, but you he want a new shade? Him. That's right. You and want a new shade? It, yeah. And by the way, that dog, not our dog, the dog we used, uh, Bijon. Uh, the the price that was Bjorn. offered on that dog was four hundred thousand dollars. Yes, <laughs> she refused it. I Sarah, can't say his name. Sarah Champagne didn't take that offer, but she got offered a lot of money for that dog. Oh yeah, she got quite a bit offered. Samantha Wildey, I have a two-week, five-day-old puppy. The biggest in the litter is only is the only one not walking. This is an accidental litter. Blah blah blah. Uh, Yeah, I think that's what she's saying. Yes. I have answered by the yeah. end. All my questions have, have been answered by the end. Okay, she's saying we told her what to do. Yes, good. Yeah. So, yeah, so, yeah, good. Right, good for you. Hopefully that fixes it pretty quick. Yeah. We're even doing it on our little boy. He wants to be around like a little seal. Anthony McDonoghue. Hey, James, we're having a debate. If a mama Frenchie has a partial cleft palate, will her offspring also have this defect? Don't know, never intentionally bred a dog with a cleft palate, so I don't know the answer to this. I suspect there's probably a couple of things going on here and some of it could be hereditary. So, you know, um, you, know you, you take your chance on this one. Um, I, I just don't know, I just don't know. I mean, there's, there's, a, there's a risk to it, there's a risk to it for sure. I mean, since she has a partial cleft, I'm assuming it's just probably a hair lip, which probably is not that big a deal, I'm guessing, but again, you know, I don't know what happens to human beings. You know, human beings suffer from this with hair lips and go on to have babies and they're fine. So, uh, yeah. Christina LeMay says she just loves you, got loves us. She says her fluffy carries are three weeks old today. Well, good, great. 
Uh, Dawn Field, what's an AYAT? That is a dog with one copy of 10 points. If it's not a brindle dog and it's fawn, it'll look sable. So an AYAT dog ten, tends to have the beginnings of 10 points. If he doesn't have brindle, you'll see some shade above the eyes, maybe some shading on the pe cheeks, and a little bit of shading on the arms. It's not very dramatic, and it won't look like a full 10-point dog. Well, that's but it, why Winston was. That's right. I was bathing him and, and happened to see it. He was probably about three weeks old, and I was like, just so excited about it, because he's a beautiful. Back when 10 points was very first coming out, wasn't yeah. it? That was about yeah. six years ago, five years yeah. ago. Yeah, it was sable. Someone's saying your Euro Hero male is fabulous. I have a female that's very similar. Yes, exactly. I think he's very beautiful. Yes, he's a cutie. Sandra Floss, nice, nice flowers. Which is thank you to Susan Frostsmith on that. <laughs> yes, Thanks, they were beautiful. Sarah Fox says nice flowers and cute puppies. Yep, they yes. are quite really beautiful. Thank you. Make my day. Make me very happy. Leslie Anderson. So we're talking about Euro Hero, and she says that she says the pronunciation is. Uh, Urajiro, pronounced in English, and Udajido in Japanese. The Japanese sounds were right to me, Odajido. I suspect that is exactly right. But to me, it's Urahiro, is the way I've always heard it. But, you know, yeah. a. I Jaro could... is what, uh, over in the UK, Yes. someone was saying it like that. So, you know, you say tomato, I say tomato. Yes. <laughs> They're just. There's not very many of them, and nope. they're gorgeous. That's what attracted me to them, is they were different, unique. Yes. Well, I always you had to like go to unique things. That's why I picked up James, because he's unique. There's only one, <laughs> there's only one of me. <laughs> Thank probably God. A, probably a good thing. Thank yeah. My sister's always said that was a good yeah. thing. My parents, too. Yeah. Uh, any tips on for short-breathing three-week-old puppies? Short-breathing. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, we're meaning that. Well, that's a puppy that's in distress. So why is it in distress? Well, we don't know, but I can tell you this. An Maybe oxygen concentrator. Yeah. Oxygen concentrator. Well, I would take one into the vet. Well, so what could be the cause of this? I mean, the cause of this could be anatomical. Could have problems with the, the chest wall and things like that could be yeah. going on. It could be more likely is, is the dog has inhaled some milk and now has got the beginnings of pneumonia. Mm -hmm. And that one... Did she say all of them are doing that? Yeah, I think so. And so for, for that solution is is uh, clavamox, amoxicillin, clavamox, yeah. for eight days. Uh, maybe some steroids, maybe a breathing treatment, definitely some oxygen and probably an incubator. And maybe if the dog gets bad enough, tube feeding. So you want to... If they've got little runny noses, and it doesn't have to be a colored up runny nose, it can be a clear, clear. runny nose. Right. So that's the beginnings of it. So, you know, you want to make sure you take care of that, get, a, you know, antibiotics for it, for sure. Any dog with short breathing incubate, um, oxygen time. Yes. Um, we had, I was going to finish this off, so if you get bored with this, hang up now on this one, but do you remember that puppy that we had that got breathing trouble? And we, so we had to, we were going to rush to the vet because we weren't, we oh, didn't know what had gone wrong. Yes. And yeah. we had a large oxygen concentrator. <laughs> That's so stupid about it. Yeah, so we, we found out. So we had a large oxygen concentrator. We couldn't run it in the in the car, so we filled up a, a huge trash bag. Yeah, grass trash bag with oxygen, so that we could bag the dog on the way to the vet that was about twenty minutes away. Because every time we took him off the oxygen, he'd go blue. He'd go blue. And he started having problems. When he put yeah. on the oxygen, it was fine. Yeah. So we knew he had a problem. Yeah. And we had a, we had a system to keep him alive, the the uh, oxygen concentrator, but it wasn't it was too big to get in the car and run it in the car. Yeah. Anyway, so we, we filled up a, a big leaf bag with oxygen, blew it up, and then put a cup with a tube from that bag and bagged him with that. That, that worked good. Gone to the vet, the vet, they got some tweezers out and pulled that pulled giant... Pulled out a humongous booger, booger out of his nose. Out of it, his nose, nostrils. It caked his nose where he couldn't breathe hardly. And he would have died from that. Yes. But Why he couldn't breathe through his mouth to get so oxygen? So always check their nose to yeah. make sure it's clear yes. in there. You know, they can get a little snot up in there. They, If you've got pee pads and tearing up pee pads, they can collect that yeah, in their nose too. Yeah, you can kind of fiber or stuff. Or your yep. towels that are, you know, the fiber that comes off of the towels, the strings and stuff. Right. I mean, just food getting in their nose, you know, so. Yep, dried up shit, yeah. whatever. Yeah. Yep. But anyway, that was a great day because that dog was fine. Yeah. 
But he that's was why, in That's why you keep your babies in your house so you can keep a good close eye on them and know exactly what they're doing. You know, there's so many people of them that just put them in a barn or a garage and just put them in there and let mama carry on. You know, you gotta watch these babies. The Frenchies. Yes. French is pretty fragile. Yes. That first, that first ten days. Keep close eyes on them. First ten days. That's why you... ours are in the kitchen with us, because yep. that's where we spend most, most of, of the time. day. Yep. Yep. I do anyway. Yep. They're right there, opened up, so I can see them. That's right. Okay. Tough on this one. See you. Bye. Yeah. Say bye, Tammy. Bye. Okay. Thanks for watching the the video. Uh, I really appreciate people who subscribe to me. It helps me, encourage me to do more of these videos. But do remember, disclaimer here, I am not a vet, I'm not a licensed medical professional, I'm purely a person who's been breeding dogs for the last couple of decades. Any information that you got from this video, use at your own risk. There's nothing implied here, and certainly this is, should not be used as a substitute for advice from your veterinarian or your medical professional. I hope you enjoyed the video. Come back for more of them. Bye. Thank you.